News first. New at 11, a string of car break ins in West Midtown in gated communities. In three separate incidents, Atlanta police say crooks vandalized more than 150 vehicles, all within proximity to Georgia Tech. Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer is live in Midtown. And Bridget, police say guns were among the items that were taken from vehicles. Sean, and that is what's making it especially worrisome for people who live in this neighborhood. They tend to be targeting the West Midtown area in particular. And we talked to one of those victims who's disturbed by what he's seeing. Garrett Folks got up for work one day, went down to his parking garage, only to find an unpleasant surprise. Found my back driver's side window smash. He wasn't alone that day. There were others in his same West Midtown apartment complex who were hit. A lot of emotions, mainly frustration because, you know, I had to call out of work, which made me lose even more money, and then I realized I had to pay for the window. He's one of the many victims detailed in multiple Atlanta police reports about car break-ins. In three separate incidents since June, more than 150 cars were broken into, all happening in the same radius around Atlantic Station. Countless belongings were stolen, including guns. They're probably trying to make it by, but this isn't the way to do it. The most recent incident in this neighborhood happened on November 12th when 80 cars were broken into at Cottonwood Westside Apartments. In reports, the suspects are described as possibly teenagers. In another, the person acted alone. Fultz says he had to pay $200 to fix his windshield. He's just hoping whoever's doing this can stop. You know, other people are going through stuff too, and it's not fair for you to put other people potentially in a financial hole to fix yours. And Fultz says this was a tough reminder to hide your belongings so a thief would not see them through the window and decide to break in. I also spoke to another victim off camera. She said not only was she hit, but also her boyfriend's car was hit. Now, I did reach out to Atlanta police. They say they are looking into this and they're going to give me an update as soon as they can. We're live in West Midtown. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Tonight.